It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Quiz Kids. Today's battle, well, imagine a huge war between Richard the Lionhearted and Braveheart. Because over here we have the Archbishop Reardon Crusaders. And they are taking on the Carlmont Scots. So let's meet the Crusaders right now. Our Reardon boys start out with Trevor Peralta. Trevor, you are a sophomore and an avid wrestler. Yes. Um, How long have you been wrestling? Uh, I started wrestling in freshman year. It was a totally new sport for me. Uh-huh. Yeah. And what is the team like this year? Um, this year we're a team to be reckoned with. We have a lot of players and our coaches are some of the best. They push us to our limit and we're just being ready for season. Well, good luck with that. That sounds really exciting. Thank Eric you. Weideman, you're a senior, Eric. And last summer, your family went on a really cool trip to the Galapagos Islands. Mm -hmm. So what was that like? It wasn't an expedition, it was just it was for fun. Yeah, it was just go there, see the animals, and look at a really beautiful natural one wonder. You said that uh, the animals are really are very uh, fearless. You got very close to them. Mm -hmm. Like about as close as I am to my teammates right now. Wow. Wow. That must have been amazing. Alan Batista, you've been playing soccer for 10 to 12 years. Yes, I have. So you play also you with school and with a, a league, right? Yeah. So it's all year round. And you're standing there walking. You don't look bruised. You look happy. You, what do you love about soccer the most? Adrenaline, the sport, you know. The it seems to be really pumping in you right now. Cool. <laughs> All right, well, let's use some of that adrenaline, and let's see if we can earn you an easy 100 points. In this first round, you'll be collaborating. I'll have seven questions for you, each worth 10 points. If you give me the correct answer to all seven questions, I will throw in a 30-point bonus for a total of 100 points. And you get to pick from three categories. Today's categories are JC Convention, K-Rations, and Can't Get There. What would you like, gentlemen? K-Rations. K-Rations, all right. Very, very tricky. All answers will begin with the letter K. Ready? Here's your first one. It is the seat of the Russian government. Um, the Kremlin? The Kremlin is right. Its snows are in the title of a Hemingway story. It's, it's the snows of Kilimanjaro. Oh. This is a form of Japanese theater. Kyoto. Oh, wait, no. Um, I'm sorry, I have to take that. It's Kabuki. Uh, visitors to Dublin can see this illuminated manuscript at Trinity College. The Book of Kells. Borat put this former Soviet Republic on the map. Uh, Kazakhstan. That is right, Kazakhstan. Uh, these small crustaceans make flamingos pink. Krill. Uh, Krill is correct. And finally, this noble gas gives its name to Superman's home planet. Krypton. Krypton is correct. You score 40 points. <laughs> Congratulations, gentlemen. We will meet their opponents after these messages. to the Carl Scott, Sanjay Srinivas. How are you, Sanjay? Uh, I'm doing well. You're a junior, and you got the call recently, or not too long ago, from your old elementary school principal. What did he want you to do? Uh, well, he asked me if I would help teach chess at the elementary school. Wow. And uh, I used to go there, so I said, yeah, sure, I'll do it. So how many kids do you teach? Uh, my class is about 10 to 12 students. 10 to 12 students, and they're what, like? Second grade, third grade? Uh, yeah, between third and fifth grade. So like eight-year-olds, ten-year-olds. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. Any of them already grandmasters or anything? <laughs> uh, not quite, but they're getting there. They're getting there. Good luck on that. Christopher May, every school has a rival. Who is the rival for Carlmont? We play Sequoia. Sequoia. So you just had your big game, yep. football game, last night. How'd it go? Well, we lost, but it went into overtime. Um, so yeah, it was 14, both teams 14. were strong. Yeah. It was, was it an exciting game? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, so you support the team no matter what. Yep. Good for you. Laura Van Arsdale, you're involved in drama at Carlmont, and your drama department just tackled a very challenging Irish classic. 
Yes, we did Playboy of the Western World. Right. Uh, which was, uh, it's about turn of the century uh, Ireland and a man who may or may not have killed his father. And you got to play a very evil character, didn't you? Yes, I did. I was the widow Quinn, and I, um, it's hinted that I killed my husband. Hmm, maybe that deviousness will help you here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. You can also earn up to 100 points, folks. Just pick a category for me from JC Convention or Can't Get There. We're going to go with the JC Convention. JC Convention, all right. Name these people whose initials are JC. He was the United States advocate who served as vice president. I'm sorry, he was the states' rights advocate who served as vice president under both John Quincy Adams and Andrew Jackson. John Calhoun. That is right. He preceded Reagan as president. Jimmy Carter. Right. This former OSS agent taught many to master the art of French cooking. Julia Child. That is correct. He deciphered hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. He said them correctly, and he deciphered them. <laughs> Jean Champollion, of course. <laughs> he won his Nobel Prize for the discovery of the neutron. James Chadwick. He's the British explorer who discovered the Hawaiian Islands. James Cook. That is correct. And finally, Veni Vidi Vici. He conquered Gaul. Julius Caesar. You got it for 50 points. Congratulations. We have a close game, and we'll return with the second round after these messages. We're back, and all our quiz kids, of course, train very long and hard with tremendous coaches on their staff. So let's give a big hand to the coach of the Archbishop Reardon team, Mr. John Albach. <laughs> and to the longtime coach of the Carmon Scots, Patricia Bronstein. <laughs> all right, teams, grab your buzzers. It's time to play the three for all. I will ask a toss-up question, the person to answer correctly for his or her her team will control that set of questions. You have a chance to earn up to 40 points a set. Here we go, good luck. If earthquake A is a 4.5 and 10 times greater than earthquake B, what did earthquake B measure on the Richter scale? Eric? 3.5. Correct. For 20 points, the Richter scale is an example of what kind of mathematical scale in which an increase of one on the scale corresponds to a tenfold increase in the value. You can collaborate. Um, uh, logarithm, an exponential logarithm? May I accept that? Yes, the logarithmic scale. And finally, for 40 points, what logarithmic scale is used to describe the intensity of sound? Decibel scale. You got 40 points. Congratulations. Right. Here's our next toss-up question. Which metallic element is sometimes called quicksilver? Christopher. Mercury. Correct. For 20 points. Because of the toxicity of mercury, it, was large, it has largely been replaced in bulb thermometers by what dyed organic substance? I have no idea. It is alcohol. Here's the next toss-up. These two people spell their names the same, but they're pronounced differently. Say the four-letter name that's either a former congressman or the lead singer of U2. 
Sanjay. Bono. Bono or Bono. Next, Sonny Bono's ex is still headlining in Vegas. Who is this singer? Cher. Yes, Cher is correct. And for 40 points, what Irish capital is home to you two? Dublin. You got 40 points. Congratulations. I'm a big fan of uh, Dickens I Am. Which Dickens character is the scheming blackmailer in David Copperfield who pretends to be an humble man? I'm the only fan of David, of Dickens. <laughs> it's Uriah Heep. There were so many good questions here. Next, the wavelength of light is usually measured in angstroms. How many angstroms are in a meter? Good, you're not a fan of angstroms either. 10 billion. Next, Alan Shepard smuggled a small spherical object on board Apollo 14 so he could become the first man to play what sport on the moon using his rock collector for a club? Trevor. Uh, what is golf? What is golf? I mean, sorry, golf. No, that's call me Alex. <laughs> Just pay me what he gets. Next, for 20, Shepard became the first American into space as the first astronaut in what first American manned space program First, first. Apollo? No, Mercury. Next, toss up. What is the term used by geographers to designate a land area that gets less than 10 inches of rainfall a year? Laura. A desert. Right, for 20 points, what cold desert that spans China and Mongolia has been the source of many important dinosaur fossils? Gobi. The Gobi is correct. For 40 points, the Gobi is a rain shadow desert where rain clouds are blocked by what immense mountain range to the south? Himalayas. That is correct. 40 points. <laughs> Next toss up. The eerie painting Persistence of Memory is one of the most famous works by which surrealist artist? Laura. Dolly. Correct. For 20 points, Dolly claimed that his trademark flamboyant mustache was influenced by what 17th century painter of Las Meninas? Goya? No, it was Velasquez. The next toss-up question is, uh, we're going to have a break here. We'll be right back for the continuation of the round. Don't go away. We are in the middle of our three-for-all. Here's your next Toss-up question. Which city, sacked in 1204 during the Fourth Crusade and captured by the Ottoman Empire in 1453, was renamed Istanbul? Trevor. Uh, Constantinople. Right. For 20 points. Many in Istanbul commute from continent to continent when they cross what strait that bisects Istanbul? Oh, the Dardanelles. No, I'm sorry. It's the Bosporus. Here's the next toss-up question. After he helped fund the American Revolution, which drove his country bankrupt, this king was executed. Who was, yes, Laura? Louis the 16th. Correct, for 20 points. Uh, she never said, let them eat cake. What was? Mar yeah, Marie Antoinette. Antoinette. Marie Antoinette. And for 40 points, Marie Antoinette wasn't born in France. Rather, she was a native of what other country? Austria. Austria. You've earned 40 points. Next toss-up. Upon his death, he left his fortune as the endowment for annual awards in the many academic fields. Name this Swede who invented dynamite. Eric. Nobel. Correct. All of the prizes except the Peace Prize are awarded at a ceremony in which Swedish city? Geneva. No, I'm sorry. Stockholm. Here is the next toss-up. After heroic service in World War I, what French general took over the government of Vichy, France and became a Nazi puppet? Trevor. Um, who is Marshal Pétain? Uh, you're right, said Alex Trebek to the question oh. asker. Which leader of the Free French during World War II became President of France from 1959 through 1969? Uh, De Gaulle. De Gaulle. That's right. And for 40 points, a 2000 crash near De Gaulle Airport led to the end of service for what pioneering airliner? Air France. Air France? The, uh, the Concorde. Oh. Next. Four tournaments are called the Grand Slams of professional tennis. In a calendar year, which occurs first? Yes, Sanjay. The Australian Open. Correct. That's in January. Which occurs last? U.S. Open. The U.S. Open. Yes, in August, September. And finally, the U.S. Open is held in the New York Tennis Center, named for which founder of the Women's Tennis Association? Billie Jean King. Correct, for 40 points. <laughs>
What city that forms a metropolis with Kobe and Osaka has a name meaning capital city and was until 1868 the imperial capital of Japan? Trevor. Uh, Kyoto. Correct. Kyoto is home to what video game company that scored a hit with the Wii? Nintendo. Correct. And for 40 points, Kyoto is home to five hanamachi, famous as the home of what practitioners of traditional Japanese arts? I trained there. Samurai? Geisha. <laughs> Thought that was funny. Anyway, next toss up. Which constitutional amendment ratified in 1951 limited, uh, limited every president after Harry Truman to no more than two terms in office? Eric? Uh, the 23rd? No, it was the 22nd. We have two minutes to go in this round. Which metal is the best conductor of electricity? Christopher. Gold? No, I'm sorry. You can steal. Copper? Uh, no, it's silver. Next. Each of the first four lines of the hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful, were titles of books by which 20th century British veterinarian? I'm sorry, that's buzzed out. Uh, it's James Harriot. Next, for the arrival of computers, before the arrival of computers, millions of students and secretaries used this product to correct typing errors. What is the rather blank sounding name for the product also called liquid? Yes, Chris. White out? Right. The inventor of liquid paper, Betty Nesmith Graham, gained fame again as the mother of what 60s pop star? Mm. That was Michael Nesmith of the Monkees. Next toss up. The Analex is a work about morals written in the fourth century BC by what influential Chinese thinker? You have a minute to go. Confucius? That is right, Eric. Confucius is quoted as saying, do not do to others what you do not want done to yourself. An early form of what gleaming guideline? Golden Rule. Right, and for 40 points, because of its similarity to the Golden Rule, Confucius' saying is often known by what other metallic name? Silver Rule? It's the Silver Rule for 40 <laughs> points. Very good, 30 seconds to go. The cities of Turku and Stockholm look onto this arm of the Baltic Sea, named this gulf which separates Sweden from Finland. It's the Gulf of Bothnia. Uh, the first atomic bomb was detonated in Los Alamos, but only after the first nuclear chain reaction was achieved under controlled conditions. Where was this first nuclear chain reaction achieved? Eric. Chicago. That is right. Name the Italian physicist who led the team that created the first chain reaction. Jeremiah, am I saying it right? Jeremiah? No, I'm sorry, it was Enrico Fermi. And that is the end of the round. We'll be back for our final round, 240 to 200. Don't go away. The score is 240 for Carlmont, 200 for Archbishop Reardon. So good close game. And we're now going to play the final round where you guys get to buzz in. It's time to three minutes. Uh, the first person to buzz in gets to answer for his or her team. Give me the right answer. You score 30 points. The incorrect answer will allow the other team a chance to collaborate and steal those points away. Okay? Good luck to both teams. Here's your first question. What does a meteorologist measure with an anemometer? Sanjay. Speed. That is right. In baseball, he is sometimes nicknamed a fireman. What position does he play? Allen. Sorry? Shortstop. That is incorrect. You can steal. Uh, third base. Pitcher. Pitcher. It is the only nation in Latin America that speaks English. What Central American country was formerly known as British Honduras? Sanjay. Belize. Correct. What common condiment has chemical formula NaCl? Trevor. Salt. That is it. What five-letter word means the body of laws and regulations made by or adopted by an ecclesiastical authority? A, I'm sorry, we missed that. It's a canon. What term describes two organic molecules that have the same chemical formula but have different molecular structures? Yes, Sanjay. Isomer. Correct. Of Plessy versus Ferguson, Miranda versus Arizona, or Gideon versus Wainwright, in which case did the U.S. Supreme Court rule that states must provide legal counsel to poor defendants in criminal cases? Miranda case. No, I'm sorry. In criminal cases. Is it Plessy versus Ferguson or Gideon versus Wainwright? Gideon versus Wainwright. That is correct. 
Which author of the volume Tulips and Chimneys is known for es eschewing capital letters? Laura. Is that E.E. E. Cummings? That is right. Give me the word that can mean a part of a bagpipe or a non-worker bee. Laura. Drone. Correct. What pantropical weed, sometimes known as the sensitive plant, shares its name with an orange juice-based drink? A mimosa. What do physicists call it when an incoming wave is broken by a series of slits or a grating and exhibits fringes or alternating bands of dark and light? Yes, Eric. Refraction? Correct. With over 800 species of animals, which American city zoo has the largest collection of any in the world? Eric. New York. No, I'm sorry. You can steal. Chicago. San Diego. A recent study at the Baylor College of Medicine called into question the use of what device used to stabilize the head in neck traumatic, traumatic neck injuries? That is a cervical collar. The discovery in 1768 of a local supply of kaolin made what French city into a center of porcelain production? We have a minute to go. Beautiful porcelain called Limoges. The only silent movie ever to win the Oscar for Best Picture was what 1927 film about aviators? Laura. Wings. That is right. Lorenzo Ghiberti designed and cast the bronze doors for the baptistry for Santa Ma Maria del Fiore Cathedral in what seat of the Italian Renaissance? Florence. I'm sorry, Alan? Florence. Correct. What social networking website was founded in Mark Zuckerberg's Harvard? Yes, Sanjay. Facebook. You got it. Element 101 is named after which chemist who used atomic weights to arrange the elements in his forerunner of the modern periodic table? Yes, Sanjay. Mendeleev. That is right. In 1973, Bill Gates held what position in what? Oh, that is the end of the game. 510 for Karma, 290 for Weirden. Karma wins the game. Both teams played valiantly, and we will see them both in a few weeks. So we'll join you next week. Come and see us then. Bye-bye. Go to quizkids.tv to meet our teams, learn more about the questions on today's show, and to get tickets to see the show in person. Tournament champions will win an all-expense-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. <laughs>